What's up, guys? It's Dan here from Crypto Camacho. And hey, I want to talk today about Cat20 tokens, how to mint Cat20, how to deploy Cat20, and how to start using the new Fractal Bitcoin mainnet, all right? So I've already talked a bit about the Fractal Bitcoin mainnet. Um, I've already talked about Unisat, how they've listed everything. I've talked about Fleur, how you could go and you could mint. Um, I've shown you a little bit of this stuff, but I want to actually compare some of the pricing. And I want to show you uh, a little bit more on how to actually do this. So let's jump right into it and get going. All right. So you can check out here. We have Unisat pulled up. This is Unisat's Explorer on the Fractal Mainnet Cat 20, right? So I'm on the Explorer here. You can see that there are there's a new uh, Bitcoin blockchain called Fractal Mainnet. It's a derivative blockchain on the B BTC blockchain that allows for uh, ordinal like kind of token creation deployment uh, so forth and so on. Yet now there is a new blockchain or a new sorry, a new protocol that has been introduced onto this mainnet called Cat20 protocol. It basically has enabled OpCat, which is the programmability um, aspect of Bitcoin. And it has enabled that now on this new fractal mainnet blockchain uh, on top of BTC. And right now what you're looking at here is a full list of the Cat20 tokens that have either been minted and or deployed and are minting out as we speak. All right. And so you can see these tokens. Cat has been minted out. Uh, fractal Bull has been minted out. Uh, Cat20 Pizza is still going. And a number of others are still being minted now. Fractals being minted, cats, Nico, right? And you can see the number of wallet holders and the number of people that are holding uh, these, these tokens right here. There's also been um, a number of BRC20 tokens minted out that are actually now worth some money. And I'll show you a marketplace that's been popping up and other marketplaces that are popping up that are starting to list these coins, right? You have Cherry, Glizzy, People, Rabbit. I did get in on a number of these early mints. Um, some of them I didn't because there really weren't any minters or very few minters available at the time. And right now there's only a very few minters for um, the Cat20. Now you can actually mint the BRC20s on Unisat directly, um, but the Cat20s you cannot mint yet. You can see um, that they've, re oh, they did recently add this uh, right here. So we can mint banana. Let's try to mint banana. Um, and let's see if this minter actually will work. Oh, these are for BRC20s. I'm sorry. I wanted to inscribe on my cats. Um, and so for cats, that is not, I don't think, possible yet. Yeah, these are BRC20s. You see, I can mint. On Cat20, you cannot mint quite yet on Unisat. But I do want to show you where you can mint. So you can mint on a dot swap, but dot swap is quite expensive. So look, you can see this mint cat. It's on the tools.memepool.com. I can share this in the show notes, but you can mint the cat tokens here. Fractal Bowl has been mostly minted out. Let me refresh this and see where uh, where we're at and what we have available left to go. So Fractal Bowl has uh, pretty much been minted out. You probably can't uh, mint those anymore. You could try. Um, I've tried to mint many, many of them, and it does not go through. Cat 20s, you can mint. Um, so all you do is you click the mint button on Dot Swap after you connect to your Taproot uh, Unisat wallet. You put, uh, you know, the amount of minting you want to do right here. You can see, though, dot swap is very expensive, 0.12 FB. So FB is the, the main token for Fractal mainnet that I was talking about over here. That's the, the main token. It's actually being <coughs> traded today. Um, on, <coughs> excuse me. It's being traded today on a, ooh, excuse me. All right. So Fractal Bitcoin is being traded on a, Coinex right now, one of one of the major exchanges, right? And it's been trading right about now seventeen dollars and fifty six cents. I think it's going to go down a little bit more. Um, I got in on this a bit early on, so I was able to purchase uh, <clears throat> some of these uh, fractal bitcoins, and I was able to now then mint some of these other ones because of this fractal bitcoin. So in order to mint Cat Twenty, you actually need this fractal bitcoin, the FB, which you could buy on Coin um, Exchange or you could get a few different places. Once you have that, then you come over to Dot Swap, right? And you can start minting these Cat20 tokens. But you can see that dot swap is very expensive. To mint uh, five repeat mints, it's 0.12 FB, which is today about, I don't know, it's like an FB today is, what, 17 bucks? So it's about uh, not even a quarter of that. Uh, it's like a, a couple bucks to mint um, five times, right? Now, if you want to do this a bit more, it gets a little bit more pricey. I mean, if you want to mint 25 uh, times, it's more than half uh, a fractal Bitcoin. So that's a bit more than some of these other places. But 
Very easy to use, uh, very easy to mint. You can mint pups, you can mint all of them. They're right here, right? They've enabled it for everybody. Another option is to go to Fleur.gg. Fleur.gg popped up sort of out of nowhere. Once you connect your wallet, you could also mint a number of tokens, but at a much, much lower uh, transaction fee cost. So for example, I'm gonna mint uh, Nico. I'll say mint Nico. It doesn't always work, both on DotSwap and on Fleur, it doesn't always work. But you see here, the rate that I'm gonna to, uh, be charged for minting is 0.01. Now, this is less, right? Uh, but it's only one mint. It's 0.01 for one mint. But if you times that by five, that's still lower than what DotSwap was charging. It's significantly lower. It's like multiples lower, right? Um, if I do one mint on um, DotSwap right here, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, you have to do more than five. But when you do five on DotSwap, you can see it's 0.12. So it's multiples more to mint on a DotSwap. So I've got a Fleur GG and there my, my mint broadcasted. I minted just a little bit of Nico. Let's mint some Punk. Uh, I'm going to mint some pump, punk. I'm going to mint some, uh, actually, I don't really care about minting punk. I wanted to mint some, let's see, kitty cash. I think that's already minted out. Cat 20. I wanted to mint some more cat 20s. So I'll click it. Like I said, it doesn't always work. Um, see how they're popping up. I'm going to sign and uh, broadcast. Cool. So I just minted some cat 20. Let's try it again. If you do it too fast in a row, it will actually not work and it will fail, which you may see in a minute. Oh, it keeps going through. I'm going to mint a few more. And you'll see, um, I, I tried to mint a ton of Fractal Bull on DotSwap, and I literally must have minted, oh man, I must have minted many. I mean, you can see, I could, I could even show you. Well, I don't know if they have a history now. Oh yeah, history. So you could look on DotSwap. I minted a ton of Fractal Bull, but none of it worked. Um, my Cat20 Pizza worked. My Fractal Bull, they're all pending. None of them worked. So it didn't really actually work that well. Um, but that's all right. I did get a tiny bit of fractal bull, fortunately. So anyway, I'd go to uh, Flur.gg. Another option is to go to ct.app, another cheap, inexpensive transaction fee option. You import your wallet uh, right here, your Taproot Cat20 uh, wallet right here. You'll then get displayed. The balance, I've used this a, a few different times, so it is safe. Um, you'll see your balance. You'll see everything here. And then uh, you'll put the, the Cat20 token ID in this line right here. It'll pop up right over here. And then you'll run to actually run the mint. And so I used this one early on, which actually worked decently well. Um, and then, um, yeah, that's really about it. So you have a couple options. Go to Unisat, see the different uh, list of Cat 20s. Go to Dot Swap if you want to mint at a very high transaction fee cost. Go to Flur.gg if you want to mint for a bit lower of a cost. And then go to uh, this uh, coin tool, ct.app, if you just want to explore and do it for even a, a less cost. Now there's things like this popping up. There's the cat.fun marketplace, which I'll probably do a video on in a, at another time. But you can check out the cat.fun uh, marketplace, which is kind of like pump.fun, but for cat, the cat20 uh, blockchain and protocol. And you could actually, um, you could see the prices of FB, uh, <coughs> cat, FB bull, kitty. So you can see these coins are starting to pop up. These new marketplaces are starting to pop up. Now is the time to get in very, very early on. Right now, CAT is trading at $1.83. <clears throat> FB, uh, I believe it's trading at, uh, this is FB Bull. FB Bull is at $0.11. Cents. Kitty is at $0.02, cents, right? So these have all been minted. That's falling. Obviously, this is a new marketplace, so um, it's going to get interesting. But you could also launch your own CAT20 token right here, which I actually have not done yet, but I should try to do it. Looks pretty interesting. I'll probably make another video on this at a later time, and then uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I think uh, this is going to be an interesting ride. Um, you know, as we as we uh, uh, look at more of the fractal Bitcoin mainnet and this new sort of blockchain protocol, Cat Twenty, um, it'll be interesting to see how how high these tokens go. FB is the native token. Cat20, the cat token is the native on the cat20. And then you have marketplaces like pumpcat.20, cat.fun slash pump popping up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm Dan Crypto Camacho, and I'll talk to you next time. See ya.